This is the Chase Bliss Audio Mood, and uh, this is a very interesting pedal. can create a lot of interesting sounds, and if you're in the mood to be very creative, this is the pedal for you. So looking at the pedal, it's a little bit intimidating at first, but uh, it's broken up into two different parts. On the left side is the drip side. We have our toggle switch. We can select between reverb, delay, and slip, and we toggle that on and off with this switch here. And on the right side, we have the micro looper. And this also has a toggle switch that goes between three different settings. We've got envelope, tape, and stretch. And we also have a on off switch here for that. Uh, we can save presets here with the middle toggle switch here. And when in the middle, we have sort of whatever is set on the face of the pedal. And it's gonna be our setting. And we also have dip switches in the front and those can be toggled on and off based on what we want to do with the pedal. This pedal is mono in and out and we have an expression and uh, control voltage so we can do MIDI stuff as well with this pedal. On the front of the pedal we have the time and knob. These knobs correspond to the drip channel. Then we have the mix. This is our overall mix. So all the way to the left, we have no loops, no sounds coming through and then we blend in all the way to fully wet. So this is our global mix control. Then we have the length and modify. This is corresponding to the micro looper. And in the middle, we have the clock knob. It goes from 2K all the way to 64K. And this is the global control for the clock that controls the recording and playback of each channel. And you'll hear uh, what that does to the signal when we're playing. Um, you can double or cut in half uh, the speeds and it changes pitches and uh, it's a very interesting uh, kind of a concept. And in the middle is a setting where both the micro looper and what we're going to be playing is going to be feeding into the drip channel. And then to the right is only the micro looper is going to be going into the drip channel and our signal is going to be passing through. So we're going to be referencing the manual and going through the different effects and hear what they do and explain kind of some of the knobs. So let's start with the reverb sound here. So the manual says reverb mode is a cluster of smearable delay taps. It produces an array of atmospheric effects from reverb to multi-tap to comb filtering. The time knob adjusts the time of all delay taps and the modify knob increases the amount of smearing from clean repeats to washed out reverb. And then also the clock knob will play effect here and will create a lot of different pitch changes. So let's start with reverb. That's the reverb. Let's go to delay and the manual says delay mode is a looping delay. This mode was specifically designed to play with a clock knob. Experiment with creating harmonies by recording different loop layers at different clock settings. So this is our clock knob here and it'll play a big role here in the delay setting. In this setting the time knob controls our delay time and the modify knob controls the delay feedback. Thank you. 
Now let's go into the slip mode and the manual tells us that slip mode is a buffer with an adjustable playback head able to go from half to double speed either forwards or backwards. The time sets the length of the buffer. Smaller samples will produce more instant granular effects while longer samples will capture and alter whole phrases like a delay. Modify knob sets the buffer playback speed and direction. Uh, to the left we're going to have kind of reverse delays uh, going forward it's going to chop the repeats and pitch them so let's check that out <laughs> Okay, that was the drip channel and now let's go over to the micro looper and we're going to start with the envelope and the manual says the envelope allows you to dynamically interrupt your loop creating momentary stutters time stretching and frozen notes when you stop playing the loop resumes as normal it works by breaking your loop into slices whatever slice is playing at the moment of interruption will loop within itself that's pretty crazy so length knob sets the size of these slices from short phrases to microscopic grains lower length settings will zoom in on single moments higher settings will repeat short phrases and the modify sets the sensitivity of the envelope detector so clockwise for more sensitivity and to the left is less sensitivity so let's start with that and the micro looper is blinking red so it's always recording in the background and then when we hit the green button it's going to play whatever I recorded just previously before you hit it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next is the tape setting. So we have the tape allows you to adjust the speed and direction of your loop in quantized steps. So length controls the slices the loop into grains. Moving the control counterclockwise reduces the grain size to make your loop porous. Swelling in and out or dissolving into bits. So the modify sets the speed direction of the loop. So to the left we have times four reverse and then all the way up times four forward. So let's check that out. <laughs> And last mode is stretch. Stretch mode time stretches the loop allowing you to zoom in and smear little moments. So the length knob sets the amount of loop that will ultimately get stretched clockwise. We're going to have for a size closer to your full loop, counterclockwise for smaller bits, and the modify knob controls the amount of stretching increasing as it's turned clockwise. So let's check that out. <laughs> All right, and now let's uh, play with the middle toggle here with uh, going uh, into the micro looper and then going into the drip side of the pedal and here the kind of sounds we can create. <laughs> Thank you. 